Welcome to this episode of Cooking with Kirby. Today we're going to be making some Mexican beans. Frijoles de la olla. Beans is a must have when it comes to Mexican food and it's a really easy recipe. Super simple but you know what you can add it to so many things. So no further ado let's get into the recipe so I can show you how to make it. Since you're here hit the like and subscribe button and make sure that the notification bell is ring. Check me out on social media that way you can get notification of all my new recipes. First we're going to take our beans and we're going to go ahead and rinse them. You want to make sure that you clean them up. Depending on where you buy them, if you buy them in the bag, they're kind of clean but uh, if you get them loose like at some grocery stores, they, they have rocks and stuff like that in them. So you want to just make sure that you clean off your beans. Once you have your beans clean, as hot as possible you can get your water. You want to go ahead and place your beans in a bowl and you want to fill it up with water. You want to make sure that you let those soak. The longer you let it soak, the less cook time you're going to have on it. I usually let it sit for a good hour. You can leave it overnight like some people do, but an hour is okay. So now for six cups of water per pound, so I'm using two pounds, so this is 12 cups of water, and we're going to go ahead and start heating it up. Now I like to use chicken bouillon, this adds some good flavor, so we're going to be adding two tablespoons of chicken bouillon in there. You can also replace some of that water and use chicken stock if you'd like. Now we're going to be adding a jalapeno. We're going to be slicing the sides of the jalapeno so that way we can let those, the oils from that jalapeno get into our beans. Also we are going to be adding a whole garlic cut in half so that way the oils can get in there also. And finally to add a little bit of flavor we're going to be adding a half of an onion chopped. Now we're going to be placing our soaked beans in the pot. As you can see they enlarged just a little bit and they soaked up some of that water. So this is over medium heat. We're going to be covering this and we're going to let this cook for between an hour and an hour and a half. But uh, like I said the longer you let it soak the easier it will be to cook it in less time. So we're going to just cover that up and after about an hour and a half we got some fully cooked beans and trust me these smell delicious and the best part is when they're hot that's the best time to smash it frijoles go great for any mexican dish this is like a staple ingredient for most dishes you can use it for breakfast beans and eggs or just by itself with some queso fresco and some salsa and some homemade tortillas very delicious you got to try it out super easy to do you got to try it if you love mexican food beans is a staple if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button so that we can see future videos just like this and many more. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down in the comment section and I'll get back to you shortly. As always, I'll leave the link down in the video description so that we can get the full recipe at cookingwithkirby.com. Oh yeah, I have these recipes. They're really good. You should try them out. Now y'all be beautiful and take care.